Well, some authors go to great lengths in the name of research, right? Well, Jay Griffin is one of them. He walked across the state of Iowa pulling a handcart. The 260 mile journey took 27 days. It helped him better understand early pioneers. J.A. Griffin, good morning, yeah. sir. How are you? Nice I'm doing very well. You really did that. You did that. How, how long did this, it took? How many days? 27, 27 days. days. Took 27 days. What was that days. journey like? What was it like? Yeah. It wasn't. Besides as, tiresome. Besides tiresome. Well, it wasn't as difficult as a person might think. Uh, I, I thought it would be grueling before I started. But what I discovered is uh, the journey of the pioneers was difficult, but it was doable, mm -hmm. at least that part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, the, but, I mean, when they were doing it compared to when you were doing it, you wanted to replicate it as closely as possible in this day and age. Yes, I wanted to replicate it as right. closely as possible. <laughs> Their challenges were a little bit different. You had more conveniences at your disposal, but you chose to sort of leave some of that stuff alone. The, the conveniences were uh, actually a little bit difficult at times. I wanted to do it authentically, uh -huh. but then uh, there were all these very nice farm wives across Iowa that read in the newspaper <laughs> that I was <laughs> watching. <laughs> they and felt sorry for you? They took pity on you? No, they didn't take pity oh. on me. They, they would come down to the road and, and offer me fajitas. They just, <laughs> just come out of the microwave. Oh, so food was just rolling that's out really, you, huh? That's nice. That's <laughs> that so like, nice, though. But you had a road. You, know, you went down the road. You weren't uh -huh. going over the fields, were you? Well, it was a different kind of road. The... Uh, the Mormon handcart pioneers of 57 generally took uh, already established roads across Iowa. There's an old wagon road that you can still generally follow on dirt roads that's north of Highway 6. Oh, neat. There's a whole stretch of towns that were uh, uh, well-known population centers in 1857, but because the wagon road went through an area with a lot of uh, bluffs and hills, mm -hmm. they chose to, to uh, put the railroad through mm -hmm. several miles south. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so all these towns that were major communities in Iowa in 1857 ended up being abandoned. Mm -hmm. And now the wagon road is just a dirt road to anybody who doesn't uh, know where it is. Because of the railroad. Yeah. Th this book, um, how, how did it come to be? I mean, was this just something you were always intrigued by and the more you learn? the more interested you became, or what, what was the catalyst for the book? Well, I'll, I'll tell you how it all started. Uh, it all started in my grandmother's basement mm -hmm. in Tacoma. Uh -huh. Oh, stop uh, it. You've got, got family, family in Tacoma. We'll talk, we'll talk after the we'll talk uh, after. Uncle Wally's yeah. farm's up there. Go ahead. It uh, started in my grandmother's basement uh -huh. in Tacoma in the fall and winter of 1985. Wow. And... Uh, when she started taking things out of her old steamer trunk and telling me the stories about this particular family, mm -hmm. the thought that went through my mind, even as an 11-year-old, was uh, regardless of whose family this is, this is an amazing story. Mm -hmm. Someone has to get this down on paper. In 1985, though, and so the book eventually, a few decades later, <laughs> a few um, decades <laughs> later comes right. to fruition. It took about but it really years. is about family and faith and love. I mean, this is you wanted to incorporate all of those things into the story. Yes, and, and the Griffin family uh, was characterized by all of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that, uh, that I can say about them. You know, my grandmother was never someone to, uh, to give somebody a break if they weren't quite up to snuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when she told me about those people, what she said was they were good, good people. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in her words, in her way of speaking, what that meant was this family is unusual as far as values. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, that makes sense. And so through this experience and, and, and wanting to get this down on paper, this led to your, this is your first book, mm -hmm. right? This is so my you, very first author, book. Right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what was that experience like uh, going through the process of getting published? Yeah, getting yeah. published too. Of getting published. Well, first of all, I'd say as far as the process of getting published, uh, I just, I happened to be in just the right place at just the right time mm -hmm. that uh, I, uh, I went to college and became close friends with uh, uh, Sean Harrison, who later became a publishing executive <laughs> and the president of Black Earth Press. Right. So it, you can make not, a call. <laughs> yeah, it's not always the right place. It's who you know, too. Right. It's who you know. Yeah. That's, yes, that's and, right. and who knows you. And who do, knows do you. Do you think yeah. after this whole experience that you'll write again? I mean, this book took you a while. <laughs> do you have plans on another? I'm thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> at the moment, I, I need a little bit of time to I understand. think and I get that. promote you this book. You need to decompress a little bit from the experience and get the word out about this one. I know it's on Amazon. Yeah, it's um, on Amazon. All over the place online. Anywhere else you want our viewers to shop for the book? Uh, it is available at the, uh, at the Bookworm mm -hmm. here in Omaha. And it's available uh, at uh, both bookstores on Broadway and Scotts Bluff. Mm -hmm. And will be available in uh, other bookstores across Nebraska within about a week. Well, coming, coming to, to Zion. Zion. A <laughs> journey of <laughs> faith, it. loss, and family. <laughs> I did, yeah. Uh, thank you. Jay, thanks for stopping by. It's really nice to meet you. We appreciate it. Yes. Thank Fantastic. you. Thanks. Welcome